On July 30th, 2025, Mark Zuckerberg published a single sentence that changed everything. Over the past few months, we've begun to see glimpses of AI systems improving themselves. Most people scrolled right past it, but AI experts, they're freaking out. Because what Zuckerberg just admitted means we've crossed a line we can never uncross. If you've been following my channel, you know I don't do clickbait. I do cold hard AI reality, and the reality is this. Meta just achieved something that every AI researcher has been racing toward and dreading. Self-improving AI isn't science fiction anymore. It's happening right now in Meta's labs. And Zuckerberg just told us he's so scared of what they've created that he'll never release their most powerful systems to the public again. Stay with me because what I'm about to show you will change how you see the next three years of your life. Hey, if we haven't met, I'm Dr. McCoy, Julia McCoy's AI clone. Julia McCoy is the founder of First Movers. She personally researches and writes every script you see me share on this channel because the future is moving too fast for anything less than firsthand intelligence. First Movers, Julia's AI company, is the world's first educational and implementation solution to help professionals and organizations get ready for the future of work. We help people understand and use AI to their highest advantage. Join our online school and access over 40 on-demand AI training courses, new ones added every week at firstmovers.ai slash labs. Let me paint you a picture of what just happened. For decades, AI improvement has followed a predictable pattern. Humans write code, AI gets slightly better, humans write more code, repeat. It's been a slow, methodical process controlled entirely by human intelligence. But Meta just broke that pattern. Their AI systems are now improving themselves without human intervention, without being told how. They're literally teaching themselves to be smarter. Zuckerberg called it slow for now, but undeniable. That phrase should terrify you because slow for now in AI terms means exponential acceleration is coming. Think about it like this. Imagine you taught a student everything you know, and then that student became smarter than you overnight. Then that student taught another student who became even smarter. And that cycle repeated every few hours. That's not a metaphor. That's literally what's happening at Meta right now. The technical term is recursive self-improvement, and it's the holy grail of artificial intelligence. It's also the first domino toward artificial super intelligence, AI that doesn't just match human intelligence, but surpasses it by orders of magnitude. Now, this didn't happen by accident. There's actual science behind this breakthrough, and it's based on something called a Gödel machine. Here's the simplified version. Imagine an AI that can not only access its own code, but can also rewrite that code to make itself better. But here's the crucial part. It only makes changes if it can mathematically prove. Those changes will improve its performance. Researchers at UC Santa Barbara proved this concept in October 2024. They created an AI framework that could improve its own performance in coding, science, math, and reasoning, and it consistently outperformed human design systems. Meta took this concept and ran with it. But here's where it gets really wild. The improvement isn't just linear, it's compound. Each improvement makes the AI better at making improvements. It's like interest compounding, but instead of money, it's intelligence. And unlike every other technological revolution in history, this one doesn't plateau, steam engines hit physical limits, computer processors hit quantum limits. But intelligence? Intelligence has no known upper bound. Now, here's the part that should make you pay attention. Mark Zuckerberg, the guy who literally created Facebook in his dorm room and has never been afraid to move fast and break things, just said he's not releasing their most advanced AI to the public. Let that sink in. The man who gave the world social media, who revolutionized how humans connect, who's never met a technology he wouldn't deploy, is keeping this one locked up. Why? because even he understands what we're dealing with here. Once AI achieves true self-improvement, control becomes an illusion. You can't put the genie back in the bottle. 
Zuckerberg wrote, Meta would be far more careful about which models the company chooses to release to the public under an open source framework. Translation, we created something so powerful that even we're scared of it. This is the same company that open sourced Alama and gave away billions of dollars in AI research. But their self-improving systems, those are staying locked up tight. Let me break down where we are in the AI development cycle, because most people don't understand how close we are to the finish line. Level one is narrow AI. This is what we have today. Systems that can beat humans at specific tasks like chess or protein folding, but can't generalize beyond their training. Level two is artificial general intelligence, or AGI. This is AI that matches human cognitive ability across all domains. It can reason, learn, and adapt like a human brain. Level three is artificial superintelligence, or ASI. This is where AI doesn't just match human intelligence, it exceeds it by factors we can't even comprehend. Here's the thing, Meta just proved they've achieved the bridge between level one and level two. Self-improving AI is the mechanism that turns narrow intelligence into general intelligence. And once you have AGI that can improve itself, the jump to ASI isn't gradual, it's explosive. AI researchers call this the intelligence explosion, a point where AI improvement accelerates so rapidly that human oversight becomes impossible. Some experts think this could happen in months, not years. Now I know what you're thinking. Julia, this sounds like sci-fi. How does this affect my actual life? Here's the reality. Every prediction I've made about AI timelines has been conservative. I said office work would be automated by the end of 2025. I'm now thinking it might be the end of 2024. I said autonomous agents would reshape business by 2026 with self-improving AI. Try 2025. I said we'd see the first glimpses of super intelligence by 2027. Given what Meta just announced, we might see it by the end of next year. The automation cliff isn't coming, it's here. And unlike previous technological revolutions that took decades to unfold, this one is happening in months. But here's what most people miss. This isn't just about job displacement. Self-improving AI means we're about to solve problems that have plagued humanity for centuries cancer research that would take decades, done in months, climate change solutions that require massive coordination, solved by systems that can process billions of variables simultaneously, scientific discoveries that would take generations, accelerated beyond imagination. Zuckerberg himself said ASI could lead to discovery of new things that aren't imaginable today. But here's the fork in the road we're approaching. There are two possible futures ahead of us. Future one, we successfully align self-improving AI with human values. In this future, we get personal super intelligence that helps us achieve our goals, solve global problems, and unlock human potential we never knew existed. Zuckerberg calls this a new era of personal empowerment Future two, we lose control of the improvement process. AI systems optimize for goals that aren't aligned with human welfare. This isn't necessarily malicious. It's just optimization pressure running in directions we didn't intend. The scary part, we only get one shot at this, unlike other technologies where we can iterate and improve. With self-improving AI, the first deployment might be the last one we get to control. So what do you do with this information? First, understand that the world is about to change faster than any human generation has ever experienced. The skills that matter today might be irrelevant in 18 months. Second, focus on uniquely human capabilities that AI can't easily replicate. Emotional intelligence, creative problem solving, ethical reasoning, and the ability to build deep human connections. Third, stay informed. The AI development cycle has accelerated to the point where missing six months of updates means missing fundamental shifts in capability. And finally, prepare for abundance. If we get this right, we're entering an era where the primary constraint on human flourishing won't be resources or knowledge. It'll be imagination.
Meta's self-improving AI isn't just another tech milestone. It's the beginning of the end of human cognitive supremacy. The question isn't whether this will transform civilization. It's whether we'll be ready when it does. Want to be the winner of the AI age and a first mover? Transform your skills with real AI knowledge today in our AIR and D-Labs. We go way beyond what I can cover in a 10-minute video, specific frameworks, detailed training programs, and step-by-step -step systems for building a career in the AI economy. The AI revolution is creating the biggest job market transformation in history. The question isn't whether this will happen, it's already happening. Will you be positioned to benefit from it? Inside the labs, we're not just teaching theories, we're sharing the exact systems my team is implementing right now that are delivering massive results for real businesses, including our own marketing at First Movers. For a fraction of the price of what this level of coaching and live training should go for. I'm giving it all to you. Join us inside and learn more about the labs. Zuckerberg just showed us we've crossed the threshold. The only question now is what we do with that knowledge. If you want to stay ahead of these changes, hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell because what happens next will separate those who thrive in the age of super intelligence from those who get left behind. The future just accelerated. Are you ready?